So this week I'm installing a USB-C port on a Nintendo DS Lite. So this is just the bare basics. There will be a link in the description on how to fully take it apart, but this is just showing you how to install the actual port itself. So as you can see here, we just need to wrap the plastic parts with capped on tape to protect them from the heat, and then we'll flip the board over, we'll apply some flux on the back, and then we'll apply some heat. 400 degrees C, just keep it moving, and it literally only takes a minute or so, and then the solder begins to melt, and then the port will drop out of place. There's only six solder points that need to be melted, which normally happens pretty quick, and then that's it, it drops out, and then we're done with that part. On to cool, we'll flip it over, and then we'll give it a clean of isopropyl. So we'll get rid of all the old flux, front and back, make sure it's all nice and clean, in preparation for the next stage. Now we're going to apply a little bit more flux against these points and we're going to do our best to clean these portholes out as much as we can. So I'm just applying some new fresh solder and then I'm going to come in with some solder wick and then we're going to remove all the excess that we can do. We are going to be flowing some fresh solder through these ports in a bit. So it makes it as good as possible to try and get as much out as you can but mixing it isn't the worst thing. Another quick clean of isopropyl. Now we'll come in with our USB-C port, so we'll just line up, we're going to start with the two pins at the bottom. So I've got this small clamp that I'm using to keep it in place, it's going to be easy to try and do it by hand. So I'm just going to line up the two solder points at the bottom that we're going to be soldering to first, these are the main points that we need to get done. Once I'm happy with the location then I'll just tighten the clamp. And then I'll come in with fresh looks again, so a little square to have a part, and then we'll come in with our solder, and it's literally just a case of holding the solder iron on as long as you can, letting the solder flow to the points underneath, making sure they're nice and solid. So we'll do that on both sides, we'll tilt it up at an angle, and then we can see we probably need a little bit more solder added into these, so I'll just come back in with a little bit more flux, and then more solder, and then just hold it on, and let these points get as full as possible with solder so we know we've got some real good solid connections. Then we'll flip it over, we'll add some flux onto the back and then we'll add solder again to these base mounting points. So these really need to be flooded as much as possible as you need as much solder in these because this is what's going to stop the pole from moving and ripping any traces off. So just hold it on one side, fill up both portholes, and then we go on to the other side, same again, plenty of flux, and then just hold your solder and iron on and let the solder flow all the way through so we know it's making a good connection both sides. Then give it a good clean and then reassemble. Reassembly video is in the description, and then as you can see, here's our USB-C ports roll back together. We'll pop it in, plug it in there, we'll have a little look, and we've got our charging colour. And then we'll plug our USB-C amp in to see what amperage we're getting. We're getting a charge. And now we've got a Nintendo DS Lite, which now charges through USB-C. Nice and easy. Full video on how to do the full install is in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.